Magic Online and Magic Arena are great ways to play Magic while you're cooped up at home, but for some they can be a little impersonal. Some people just like playing with real cards. For many, the most important part of Magic is the gathering. So if you find yourself unable to go out and play with folks in the real world, we here at Card Kingdom put together this guide to show you how you can connect with your friends and play Paper Magic at a distance. It might require a little effort, but can help you stay connected and put those cards to good use. Step 1. What you'll need. These are the basics. We're going to assume you have a Magic deck and a friend who wants to play from their home too, although if you need a deck we can certainly help you out with that. Anyway, here's what you'll need. A large clear space. A table, a bed, even the floor could work, although may get a little uncomfortable. A desktop, laptop, or even a large tablet. Phones can work, but require a little extra effort. Reddit user Mackie Zodiac posted a guide for how to turn a bundle box into a stand for your phone that works great. You can find the link to it below in the video description. A webcam. Lots of laptops and almost all tablets have these built in, although a separate webcam will give you a little more flexibility. You don't have to get fancy. Decent HD webcams can be found starting around $30. A microphone. Again, a lot of laptops and tablets have these built in. A gaming headset could work as well. Anything that lets you be heard and hear others. Decent options can be found starting around $20. A playmat. Optional, but helpful for keeping things contained and setting up the shot with your webcam. Alright, you've gathered your supplies. Now to get them set up. Step 2. Setting up the space. First, clear off whatever space you are using. If you have a playmat, lay it out in front of you like you were about to play a game on it. During setup, it doubles as a nice mouse pad. Set up your computer monitor slash laptop slash tablet on a stand in front of your playmat across from you. Set up your webcam slash adjust the angle of your laptop or tablet. Make sure your microphone slash headset slash cups with string is working. Step 3. Software. Skype, Discord, FaceTime, Hangouts, etc. Any video chat will work, but some are more flexible than others. When selecting and using your video chat software of choice, a few things to remember. Most of these apps will let you preview your camera before you start a chat. Mess around with the settings before you try to play someone. That way you spend less time not playing Magic. When arranging your view, set up your opponent's window to take up as much of the screen as you can. If the way they have their camera arranged makes the battlefield unclear, let them know before you actually start playing if possible. That saves some headaches later and makes it so you don't have to break the flow of the game. Allow for a little lag. You will inevitably end up talking over each other at some point, or many points. Be patient. Step 4. Play. Connect with your friend over the video chat app of your choice, set up your view so you can see each other's battlefields, and get to slinging those spells. Or at least try to. Playing over a webcam will bring some challenges that you'll need to work around. Some common ones are. You can't pick up their cards to read them. Seems obvious, and yet it always ends up being a nuisance at some point. Try to have another window open or your phone handy to be able to look up oracle text on a card, and don't be afraid to ask your opponent what cards are and what they do. How will enchanting an opposing player's creature work? One way is to put the creature off to the side near the top of the battlefield and the edge of the camera's view, and to have the enchantment mirror the creature. A similar problem is gaining control of an opponent's creature. Have some token handy, some scrap paper, and a marker. A pen or a pencil will work, a marker is just easier to see over webcam. And make your own proxies on the fly. These are just some of the issues that may come up, but with a little creativity you can find simple solutions for nearly all of them. Games will likely take a little longer than you are used to with paper magic. Again, patience is key. You and your friends will get the flow of these things down with practice, and the speed bumps won't slow you down as much, but that takes time and adjustment. Remember to slow down and have fun. We hope this helps if for some reason or another you find yourself a little isolated. Magic is a great game, but it wouldn't be much without the gathering.